Hey, welcome back to another edition of Babyface Brew Review. My name is Alex. Uh, we've got a little different uh, setup today as opposed to a normal beer review. Going to do a little bit of a kind of highlight of uh, Bellingham Beer, uh, which is a city up north, uh, just about an hour and a half north of Seattle, Washington, if you're not familiar um, with the region. Bellingham actually is absolutely killing it in terms of uh, breweries being established and founded and popping up. They have more breweries uh, in Bellingham than Seattle and Spokane on a um, resident basis. So I think it's for every 100,000, there's uh, six breweries or something like that. Um, there's a stat actually on a buddy of mine's website you can go to, and I'll leave the... Um, I will leave the link in the bio in the comment section below so you guys can check that out. It's really cool. Um, highlights different beers each week. Uh, I think it's each each Tuesday. Um, kind of just spotlighting really good beer around Bellingham and going to different breweries and, and taste testing there. So shout out to you, Ryan Dixon, um, and thank you for sending me this beer. So without further ado, just got a few different beers uh, from... Uh, different breweries in Bellingham. Just kind of wanted to chat about them briefly in their ratings, um, kind of different styles here. But uh, kind of starting off here, this is the 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 old the old faithful, the staple up in Bellingham. This is Batch 15 IPA, which is kind of brewed in more of a New England style um, IPA as opposed to West Coast. I mean, there's still a little bit of um, you know a nice dry finish on this one, but with New England style IPAs, they're typically left very very hazy unfiltered. Um, you, there's no clarity in the glass whatsoever. You can't see see through them. They have a lower level of bitterness um, with a nice like juicy kind of sweet finish as opposed to a really dry um, aggressive bitter finish that you get in most West Coast IPAs like the Boundary Bay IPA which we'll be talking about. Um, but this beer clocks in 6.7% alcohol by volume, 60 IBUs, really good ratings and in regards to accolades. Beer Advocate gives it right around 4.03 out of 5 um, which puts it in that outstanding category. Um, untapped gives it 3.88 caps out of five. Probably my favorite out of the beers here on this lineup. I'm just kind of biased in regards to those unfiltered IPAs. So next up, we've got the Kitten Mittens, uh, which is Colshan Brewing Company's Winter Ale. Uh, Clocks in at 7.4% alcohol by volume, 39 IBUs, so not a sipper by any means, but you got to watch yourself uh, when you're drinking this beer as it could probably sneak up on you. Accolades for this beer from Beer Advocate, 3.86 out of 5, kind of in that very good category, BB plus range, and then Untapped has it 3.77 caps out of 5. A uh, very solid winter ale. I wouldn't say it's my favorite by any means, but it's really well done. Their Bastard Cat IPA is very good. Their their, um, I think it's their Sunnyland, Sunnyland IPA is, is really well uh, well done as, um, as well. So let's get into Melvin Brewing Company. I think Melvin is probably my favorite brewery out of all of these. Um, they're actually based in Alpine, Wyoming, but they just opened a new tap room in Bellingham, which I think is very cool. They're kind of um, a hipper brewery. They do a lot of different style um, of IPA. They really specialize with their IPA. Their 2x4, which is a double IPA, is fantastic. Fantastic. Their Citradomus is excellent. Their uh, Asterix is really good. Drunken Master, even their their IPA is fantastic. This is their Killer Bees uh, that we're looking at here today. This is a Blonde Ale that clocks in at 5% alcohol by volume, 15 IBUs. You can see that IBU content is way lower um, than than the IPA, obviously because of the different style of beer, but because of the 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 lower level of bittering hops that they're using in this beer. Um, as for a grade and a rating, I think it's a it's rated a little lower compared to some of the other blonde ales. I don't know why, but it's fantastic. It's one of my favorite go-to blonde ales. Nice, really um, kind of honey element to it with still a nice moderate amount of hops that they use. Um, you're looking at 3.68 out of 5 on untapped, putting in that good category right in the B range, and then from beer uh, from untapped, excuse me, 3.57 caps out of 5. And then... I guess I, I misspoke. This this really is the old faithful up in Bellingham, Boundary Bay, one of the first breweries up there. This is their Inside Passage Ale or just their IPA. Um, this is kind of one of the beers that got me into craft beer. Um, 
uh, you know, five or six years ago. I really, really enjoyed it when I had it. Um, you know, kind of getting overshadowed now with all the juice bombs and the different flavors and adjuncts that they're adding into into IPAs these days. But definitely a very, very solid beer. Uh, clocks in 7.5% alcohol by volume, 78 IBUs. You see that IBU content is higher because of the um, the bitter, the bittering hops that they're using, 3.82 out of 5 on, on, on Beer Advocate, excuse me, putting it right around, um, very good to good in that category, and then 3.72 out of 5 caps on on tap. So this is just a little sample size of some good beer that you can get up in Bellingham. I'm going to do a few more of these reviews kind of highlighting different um, you know, cities around the Northwest that are doing some really good stuff in regards to brewing beer and doing cool things within the community uh, and being engaged uh, from, from that facet there. So until next time, guys, cheers, prost, or the hell you want to call it. Thanks so much again for um, dropping by Babyface Brew Review. Um, and let me know what you guys thought and leave it in the comment section below like always. And if you've had a, a Bellingham, a beer from Bellingham that you'd like me to try and review, please leave it down below. I'd, I'd love to hear from you guys. But until next time, thank you so much.